Ever felt lost in the jargon of stable diffusion? LoRa, checkpoint, control net. What do these terms really mean? In just a few minutes, we're breaking down these complex ideas into simple everyday language. Checkpoints in the context of stable diffusion and other AI models are essentially snapshots of the model's state at a particular point in its training. To understand this better, let's break it down. Training an AI model, think of training an AI model like teaching someone a new skill. The model starts with little to no knowledge and gradually learns by looking at examples. In the case of stable diffusion, these examples would be images and text descriptions. Learning process. As the model learns, it adjusts its internal settings, known as parameters, to get better at generating images that match text descriptions. This learning process is iterative and can take a long time, involving the model going through many examples multiple times. Checkpoint. A checkpoint is like a save point in this learning journey. It's a record of the model's parameters at a specific stage of training. This means if the training process is stopped, you don't have to start from scratch. You can resume from a checkpoint. It's similar to saving your progress in a video game. Using checkpoints. When you use stable diffusion, you're essentially loading a checkpoint to generate images. This checkpoint contains all the learned knowledge the model has acquired up until that point in its training. In simple terms, a checkpoint in stable diffusion is a save state of the model that has learned to generate images from text. It's a critical component as it represents the accumulated learning and can be used to continue training or for generating new images without having to train the model from the beginning. Stability AI has released several major checkpoints for their stable diffusion model, each representing significant advancements in AI-generated imagery. These include Stable Diffusion V1.5, a foundational checkpoint model that marked an important stage in the evolution of Stable Diffusion, Stable Diffusion version 2.0, Stable Diffusion V2.1, Stable Diffusion V1.6. Released as an API, it was designed as a higher quality, more cost-effective alternative to Stable Diffusion V1.5. It was optimized to provide higher quality 512 pixel generations. Stable Diffusion XL, SDXL 1.0, this model represented a significant enhancement over previous versions. It was described as the most advanced release by Stability AI at its time, um, emphasizing its superiority in terms of um, image generation capabilities. The AI art community has actively engaged in fine-tuning the base models released by Stability AI, such as the um, Stable Diffusion series, these community-led efforts involve adjusting and optimizing the original models to enhance specific aspects like image quality, style, or subject focus. This collaborative and innovative approach has led to the creation of specialized models such as Juggernaut XL and other checkpoints you can find on website like Civit AI. The checkpoints for models like Stable Diffusion typically have the file extension .ckpt, uh, this stands for checkpoint and indicates that the file contains the saved state of the model at a particular point in its training. It's recommended to use the save tensor format instead of the standard .ckpt files for enhanced security and safety. Safe tensor format is specifically designed to mitigate potential risks associated with loading checkpoints from untrusted sources. On the Civit AI website, you can filter the results to show only checkpoints and also the model on which they were based. The most popular versions are 1.5 and SDXL. To download a checkpoint, you click on the down arrow icon and then download and save the safe tensor file into this path, web UI folder, then models, and finally the stable diffusion folder. I am using Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111, but, but what does that mean? Automatic 1111 is a popular user interface for Stable Diffusion, an AI model that generates images from textual descriptions. This interface is known for its user friendliness and the extensive features it offers, making it easier for users to interact with the Stable Diffusion model. 
Automatic 1111 is the creator and maintainer of a popular user interface for the Stable Diffusion AI model. This individual is known within the AI and machine learning community for developing a web interface that simplifies the use of Stable Diffusion. The interface they created allows users to easily generate images from text prompts and modify existing images using the model's capabilities. Besides Automatic 1111, there are several other interfaces and tools available for interacting with the Stable Diffusion AI model. These interfaces vary in complexity and features catering to different user needs. To mention just a few, like Hugging Face Spaces and Comfy UI, Dream Studio by Stability AI. This is a cloud-based platform developed by Stability AI that offers an official interface for stable diffusion. Now let's explore more terms in the automatic 1111 interface. We already talked about the checkpoint, which you can find here. TXT2IMG stands for text to image and is a feature commonly found in AI image generation models like stable diffusion. It refers to the process where the AI takes a text prompt provided by the user and generates an image based on that description. This feature allows users to create visual content simply by describing what they want to see, and the AI interprets and translates these textual inputs into corresponding images. A sampling method uh, is a technique that determines how the AI creates an image from a text prompt. It guides the AI in choosing specific features and styles to generate a final image that matches the given prompt. Um, different sampling methods can produce different styles and qualities of images. Sampling steps refer to the number of iterations the model goes through to refine the generated image. Each step is a chance for the model to adjust and improve the image based on the input prompt. More sampling steps generally mean a more refined and detailed image, but also require more computational time. The CFG scale in AI image generation models like Stable Diffusion refers to the classifier-free guidance scale. It's a parameter that controls how closely the generated image adheres to the text prompt. A higher CFG scale can make the image more closely match the prompt, potentially at the expense of creativity or diversity in the output. Lower values might result in more varied and creative images, but may deviate more from the specific details of the prompt. LoRa, which stands for Low Rank Adaptation, is a technique used in AI models to make fine-tuning more efficient. It involves modifying only a small part of the model's parameters, making it quicker and easier to adapt the model for specific tasks or improvements without needing extensive retraining of the entire model. This approach is particularly useful for large AI models where full-scale training can be very resource intensive. Let's say I want to generate a photo of a Roman soldier, but I want the soldier to have my face, which was not part of the training data, or I want to incorporate an object or a style that doesn't exist in the original model. Well, you can train a LoRa with those specific images. Just like I did with Alora using my face, I was able to generate an image of a Roman soldier with my face. You can find more models on the Civit AI website. Click on the Models section and use filters to sort them by LoRa and the base model you have, in my case, SDXL. Once you find a model you like, you can click on it and download it. These LoRa models are generally much smaller in size compared to the checkpoints. Many of these LoRa models come with trigger words that you can use in your prompts. You can save the LoRa model in this path. In the LoRa tab, you can refresh and use all the available LoRa models you've added to that folder. If you click on a LoRa, it will add it to the prompt and uh, clicking again will remove it. Extensions are additional features or plugins that can be integrated into the base model to enhance its functionality or add new capabilities. These extensions can include tools for fine-tuning the model on specific types of data, improving image quality, adding new types of image, 
generation features or integrating additional models and algorithms for more varied outputs. They expand the range of what users can do with the automatic 1111 interface, allowing for more customized and diverse use cases in AI-driven image generation. Some popular extensions I use include ControlNet, which allows users to have more control over the image generation process, and Style Selector XL, which allows you to apply different artistic styles to the images. In painting is a feature that allows users to modify or enhance specific parts of an image. It involves selecting a portion of an image and then instructing the AI to fill in or alter that area based on a given prompt or guideline. This can be used for tasks like removing unwanted objects, fixing imperfections, or creatively altering parts of an image while keeping the rest unchanged. Outpainting is a feature where the AI extends or expands an existing image beyond its original borders. It involves creating new content that seamlessly blends with the edges of the existing image, effectively enlarging the image's canvas. If you want to learn more about Stable Diffusion, subscribe to my Pixaroma channel and check out my Stable Diffusion playlist. You'll find more tutorials on how to install and use Stable Diffusion, along with different extensions, and how to incorporate it into your workflow. Thank you for watching.